welcome back to my channel and to everyone of you guys who are following me already know that I'm planning to go blue with my hair. So I am planning to go stripe blue and not the whole blue. So this is how it is. Um, so they're wet and I used my sun silk black shine. So this is actually the shampoo which I have been using since 3-4 years now. I think this works like the best for me when it comes to a shampoo and it's um, really nice. I love it. Oh, so I've washed my hair because it is very important that you wash your hair before you want to color it. So the second thing that we need to do is dry. So we have to dry my hair. I want to use a hair dryer to dry my hair. Uh, if you don't have a hair dryer, I say naturally dry color. Ugly than you know, you can do the color. But if you are impatient like I am, hair dryer. Off. I am drying my hair not on heat mode. It's going to be on normal air mode. So, thandi thandi hawa se hum baalo ko dry karenge. I hope you can hear me. And yeah. One more thing, this hair dryer is also from Vega. That is one of the main reasons that's why I took my curler and my straightener. Also from Vega because I like Vega Cup products. They're good, they are not that expensive and then they just do their work. Okay. Uh, so, now in the meantime I'm curling, I mean I'll just dry up my hair and I'll be back. But one thing I forgot to tell you is before washing my hair, I oiled my hair. I used the parachute oil, oiled it, kept it for some good one to two hours. And after that, I uh, took a shower. The reason being because I don't like, the, you know, uh, using conditioners. Conditioners really screw up your hair. You might feel that that's not true, but FYI, they screw up your hair. So avoid using conditioner. Oil your hair, wash your hair. You're done. Okay, so let me just dry and get back. Now, uh, from the sideways, I'm gonna take the part which I will color. Okay. So from here, I'm taking this much. This is what I'm gonna color. And here we go. Yep, looks like. So, and now what I'll do is, I'll just merge it up to see what exactly requires the coloring. I think this is good enough. It's good enough. Okay, so this is what I need to color. This is what I want to keep away. So, I'm going to just tie this up. Either put it in a bun, or just take a rubber band and here we go. I'm scared. So now for this, I'm just gonna hold it on like that on the top of it because that's what I'm gonna color. Now, um, somebody told me that you can't do the color without using a bleach because I have really dark hair. So anybody who has dark hair and you wanna go like a different color altogether, you will have to bleach your hair. So I've got this bleach, which is in the name of Blonder Jelly. Bio Reach Premium. This is the company's name, and the cost of the bleach is forty bucks. So that's forty rupees for a bleach. Let's do this. So first you have to bleach, and then you have to color. I have this really old dabba with me. I'm going to be using this for the coloring and even for the bleach. So I'm taking this bleach, and this is like oxy bleach. I mean, it looks like that. I have another packet. <laughs> okay, so this is what we have. Um, next, I'm gonna use this developer. I hope you guys can see it. So, I'm gonna use like you know, maybe this much of it. Now, okay, now I'm gonna use this and mix it. This is how it is looking right now. Okay, guys, got the gloves and uh, just decided that I'm gonna do it with a glass and do it like this because this way it is actually easier to apply so the best is to apply your bleach like this and not use the hairbrush because somehow I don't know yaar. I mean usse barabar se lag nahi maybe you need help or something like that you know when you're trying to do it I want to be sure that I don't look funny with black and blue, so yeah. Just gonna... Now I'll keep my hair in this. 
get okay. And just put it inside it like this. Okay, this looks funny, but uh, we will have to keep the bleach for a good amount of time. Okay. Okay. So I just washed the bleach out and if you can see, see the color has become like so much more lighter. So this is the blonde that it's become now. As you can see and now it's quite dried up so I think I can color it blue. Okay, so for me to color it blue, I'm using this one. I think I've already showed it in my stories, but yeah. So it's from Majoril Mix. And by the way, Majoril is a brand from L'Oreal. And I am using this shade, Kandia. Yeah, so it's B-L-E-U. That's how it's written. Um, so again, I'll take my container, pour in this and the developer, the L'Oreal one, which I showed earlier. I'm going to mix the two. So I'll just put in the developer. I'm gonna use the whole of the developer now. Let's do this. That's how you break it open. Right, so it's happening, so yeah. Okay, it's coming. <clears throat> now I'm mixing it. Okay, I'm mixing the whole of it. Uh, so I use the whole tube. Wow, this hair color looks so fishy. But if you can see, the color also has like become a little blue. But then this is not the kind of blue I want. I just hope and I pray to God that it turns out to be the blue that I want. Otherwise, I would feel very bad. Ready to do some blues? So let's start. I've worn my gloves. Sticking the color and yeah. putting it all over. Just use the brush now and make sure okay. just making it like this on both sides just in case. Forgot to tell you in the start where something you won't regret spoiling. <sighs> well hi, so I ended up with a trick and you just pressed it back. Face to be blue, and um, yeah, looks like it's working pretty fine. Doesn't spoil the hair at the back. This is looking fine. I, I don't know for how long should I keep it, but uh, I'm gonna keep it like I think for an hour. Yeah, I'll keep it for an hour because I have no other color left, so I can't screw it up. Hi, so this is how the blue has turned out to be like it's blue, but it's more navy blue. I think I wanted like a shade lighter of the blue and um, not this blue and uh, like you know as and when I go in a dark room or something I mean not that dark but in natural uh, in the room lighting I can't see my hair color it's like difficult also ended up cutting my fringes in the wrong way <laughs> but uh, this is fine these will grow uh, but I'm not happy with the blue I mean it looks more like the dark shade of blue I wanted a little lighter than this um I don't know I think I would want to redo what do you guys think should I do a redo no like I'm really asking should I do a redo or uh, the reason that I am sh even shooting this right now is because I'm, I'm doing it the next morning is because I thought, you know, maybe the hair color will take some time to settle and, you know, it will become like better off the next day. Oh, but what do you guys think? Should I redo? 